Hello everyone, we're back with some more Flash. Uh, it has been a while, uh, for us at least, due to lack of time. But we're watching, uh, well we're already on the latter half of the season. I'm very excited to see how this all turns out. I mean, to be fair, we have been spoiled by the man in the yellow tie, aka Barry Allen, aka The Flash. Uh, he has many... Many a moniker, <laughs> but um, yeah, he he has he has spoiled us of events that happen later in the season, which uh, I don't want to spoil. If you've been watching our reactions, you you know you don't want to be spoiled for the Flash season eight because I'm sure you really care about mm -hmm. that. But um, just don't follow him on Twitter. Yeah, but uh, what it all what the thing that matters is I already knew those spoilers, but the important part is that Jeb now knows them because Jeb predicted every single one of them. Um. So well done, Jeb. You predicted the entire season of yes. the Flash. Um, oh, my deep insight knows no bounds. It is really funny when watching uh, back and when editing, because I'm like, how did Jeb predict this random shit? It, every time you just see some stupid thing, like in fucking the episode where uh, they were mourning fucking uh, Frost. There was Chester and Allegra. I'm like, oh yeah, they're gonna fuck, fuck. And then you say, and you can barely hear, uh, I can barely hear you say it because I was talking over you. It's just saying, no, they're gonna argue. And then like a few minutes later, they start fucking arguing over nothing. And then I'm like, Jeb, did you say they were gonna argue? <laughs> it's just the smallest thing. It was thing. fucking like hummus or something. Uh, yeah, Chester was like, oh, you, uh, you want to talk about passive aggressive? You put hummus on my fucking sandwich. Um, and then they started arguing about whether or not uh, hummus is a condiment. So, yeah. <laughs> Jeb is basically condiment with it. a comic reference? Is that a character? Yes, it is. Okay, yes. because and, I think uh, Allegra he's, uh, called him that. He's Kite Man's uh, rival. He He's in the <laughs> Harley Quinn show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. Your, your condiments now, fucker. Yeah, I'm not kidding. He's in the uh, Harley Quinn show. Uh, he, he, <laughs> Jesus yeah. I'm just imagining the whoever the the Stan Lee of DC is fucking writing and designing fucking Kite Man and Condiment King, and like condiment taking from... himself really seriously. Oh yeah, he's Actually, in the Lego like Batman animated series. Him. Yeah, look, this is him. Uh, mm -hmm. the Le uh, Lego Batman. Yeah. Right. He's from. He he was made for Batman the Animated Series, I think. So yeah, that's that's where he was from. I think. Really? He could squat his condiments anytime. Good one, Jeb. Uh, I thought BTS was supposed to be mature. Well, anyway, yeah, Condiment King. I'm glad we established this new uh lore that Badwicka didn't know. But uh, the one other thing I did need to address as well is that uh, Candice Patton recently was on a podcast talking about her experience in the Flash. Um. I'll link the podcast in the description if I remember uh, when I upload this video, which I probably won't, but I'll try. Uh, and basically, she was talking about how like, she faced racism and shit in, uh, in the set and how uh, people weren't prepared to deal with like her hair being a, you know, a black woman's hair, uh, like with hairstylists and shit. Um, and uh, I mentioned that specifically as part of her experience because I've been making fun of her hair a lot this season and I now I kind of feel bad because um you know she's had to deal a lot with a lot of problems with her hair with hairstylists not knowing how to uh do her hair properly because she's black and so yeah sorry about that but uh I'm, I, I, I'm not yeah get better hair <laughs> get white hair bitch <laughs> no but um Shaving. on behalf of Candace uh she forgives you oh thank you magic <laughs> Uh, be Candace's spokesperson, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I, know, uh, I I support Candace Patton. She she's a good actress. She deserves better. And uh, not that if she was a bad actress, she would have deserved racism. Uh, Jab is not gonna say yes, she would. Um, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you want to, we'll pin over here what she said in that podcast. It's quite interesting. I'll try to remember to link it in the description. Airbus. It reminds me of the Ruby Rose stuff. A bit, but now this time you don't have the other side also complaining about her, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because with the Ruby Rose, they were like, oh, she was like, oh man, they treated me so badly. And then the people making the show were like, well, actually, Ruby Rose fucking murdered someone on set. Um, it's a hyperbole, but yeah, it's it was a really stupid situation. And 
the show just kept going because they couldn't blame anyone because both sides were just throwing shit at each other. Unfortunately, the show was canceled, but Batwoman will forever live in our hearts. But yeah, that's basically all I have right now. Um, Madvika, do you have anything you want to say? Um, oh, actually, um, lads and ladettes, I have made a discovery recently that mm-hmm. I think um, <clears throat> kind of changes my mind on a few things about about the flash specifically season two i was wrong about um adam smasher gypsy and cisco and um interesting this is because all of them well at least adam smasher and gypsy have consistently been able to react to flashes mach 2 or whatever speed he's at in season two they're, they've always been able to react to him. You know, they, they can always? turn around when he's charging at him. Yeah. Um, you understand how this and, breaks the show completely, right? And therefore, Gypsy and Adam Smasher have super speed. Then why they don't. don't they use it? Like when they're, they're fighting each other, like Gypsy and Cisco. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe they're just arrogant or they're taking it easy on him. They probably <laughs> severely <laughs> underestimate the flag. <laughs> that's They're pretty um, cocky characters guys of course <laughs> i don't know wh- why you're laughing how did gypsy get mad at he... uh i mean and, she oh, would have won easily against cisco speed. but you know no no well so cisco has super speed as well because <laughs> if he can if he can take on gypsy that means oh, he can take on the flash because course. gypsy can take on the flash but, then but wouldn't this mean that anyone people... that can take yeah. cisco also has super speed i don't know we would have to see it but this is what we have confirmed <laughs> that so gypsy, does... cisco and adam smasher have super speed on par with the flash does Cisco just see reverse flash running and think, no, I'll go easy on him? I'll go easy on him. <laughs> I'll give you 2% it's not, of it's not very clear when when he got super speed. Um, but, uh, so it doesn't... If you're saying he should have seen Wells in season one... Um, yeah, he didn't have yeah, the super speed by know. then, I guess, yeah. That's, he didn't have it yet. Yeah, that's just... What about stuff? season five? <laughs> um, we'll, we'll get... You have to pull up the references, and then we can see if uh, if Cisco is actually using his super speed, or maybe he's also underestimating his opponent. It's very in character for Cisco to do that. Yes. What about what about Zoom? Zoom. Um, I don't know if Cisco was ever around Zoom to be able to use <laughs> super speed. What? They spent the entire season of what each other. Zoom I don't think Zoom ever used super speed on Cisco, so why would he need to use it back? Ah, oh, of course. <laughs> that, that makes what sense. What about Savitar? Um, does Savitar ever... Oh, I guess he does encounter Cisco, but he puts him in a trance with the box. Oh, okay. <laughs> How about the fact that he could have reversed time to save his brother if he had super speed that died because of Flashpoint? <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, well, I'm glad we got here. What uh, about all the villains? Do they just? All right, we can, we can stop this. Yeah, I was bit. gonna so, say. Basically, <laughs> how many of them these are not these are not real arguments coming from me. <laughs> I've been sent DMs from someone telling me that Adam Smasher, Gypsy, and Cisco have super speed because of this bullshit. <laughs> who is that? I don't even know who Adam Smasher is. Yeah, I don't remember. He, he was like. He was the big hunk in season two, episode one, um, who can like grow in size. Re- that's really what his superpower is. He like grows in size and has super strength. Out of um, is that the one that Barry kills that you reference a few times? In your yeah, movie? yeah, he Barry kills him. Um, yeah, with uh, so like I radiation. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess I Star Labs does it with Barry's help. Uh, I would. He is a speedster. Yeah, uh, ba- Barry. Yeah, Barry didn't. <laughs> Barry didn't pull the trigger. He would never kill someone, especially, you know, a villain, uh, or maybe yeah, a villain so that someone, tried to kill his family. Yeah. So someone tried arguing that that these three characters have super speed on the level of the Flash, just because they were able to react to him consistently. Um, and not because Barry is fucking stupid, <laughs> or because the show doesn't understand. 
how super speed and normal speed work. Do you, do you um, remember when Killer Frost got super speed in season seven? <laughs> I didn't see super, uh, season seven. Oh, you're when you have time <laughs> to spare, just watch Killer Frost with well, super speed. Well, she kind of had it in um, season three because she was able to react to one of the uh, <laughs> demons. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, she doesn't was, she, she was able to shoot an ice blast at it? Yeah, doesn't she also stop Barry when he's coming after her uh, at the end of the yeah. season when she's working for Savitar? Let me. Oh yeah, there's tons of plot armor for Killer, Killer Frost. Frost super speed to fly. She's always had <laughs> plot armor, but um, you know when she's facing against speedster. Well, I guess she died, so I guess she doesn't have plot armor anymore. So yeah, I mean she's gonna be brought back also... apparently, but who knows? <laughs> And the thing is, I this person who DM'd me, I know what they're trying to do because I've done this before, like in my WandaVision video with Monica, how she can look at a bullet whizzing past her head, um, which one can only do if they have super speed on par with a with a bullet that's been shot. Oh yeah, it's like... But, um, um, but, I, the... but I say that as a joke. I'm not being like dead serious, like, oh, this she absolutely has super speed. I know that yeah. it's just shitty editing or shitty uh direction what sh shitty whatever like they shouldn't have made her look at the bullet as it was going past her um, yeah it's like the no way home moment with dr strange and peter i don't think anyone uh, uh, any one of us believes that they have super speed but that moment really does imply it because of the way it's you know everything is slow yeah. motion besides them when i bring the shit up it's just it, it's like this is n now implied mm-hmm like they they fucked this up but like i'm not gonna from then on out always be like oh where's the super speed now where's the super speed now yeah. like i don't i don't ever bring it up again in the no way home video or wandavision um or any other time that i've mentioned that i've been like oh this implies they have super speed mm -hmm. it's just to point out how it's it was poorly done poorly communicated and for a joke yeah yeah but yeah, this person is saying like, no, you can't criticize those fight scenes anymore or any of the ones that come after because they have super speed. And it's like, no, that's not how this works. I wish they had super speed like Killer Frost. <laughs> I just, just Barry alone having super speed already breaks everything. Because like I was editing episode 15, the one that came out uh, 20 minutes ago. Uh, he has super speed, and he never uses it in the Steel Force. Uh, uh, even when Dion has betrayed him, he doesn't attack Dion until, like, a few seconds. Uh, and that's what uh, allows Dion to escape. Uh, it's really fucking stupid. Or he doesn't use it to fucking look for Iris in the Steel Force, even though they're, Can like, on a timer. Can he use super speed in the Steel Force? Yes, that's a question you yeah. asked during the episode as well. Uh, but there are okay. a few moments that show he can, yeah. Oh, okay. I, remember, I remember when Iris had super speed in season seven as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm not well wasn't she like trapped episode. inside the speed force as well, Jeff? Because I think we stopped just as she was rescued. Um, maybe not the speed force, but some something like that. She was like trapped in an alternate universe. It kind of looked like oh, the, the mirror force, dimension. Actually. Yeah, yeah, the mirror dimension. Yeah. Uh, anyway, what the only things I remember from the Steel Force episode was feeling like I was seasick on a rocking boat. Oh That's yeah, That's all I remember. Yeah, if you watch that, uh, our reaction, we <laughs> we complain a lot about that. It's really stupid. Um, it's really shit. Yeah, uh, Jeb, just you you were cutting out a bit. If you have a VPN on, to turn it off. And I do not. If yeah, you... what are you trying to be fucking safe, nerd? <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, you you seemingly haven't cut out for a while. If you do again, uh, do you have? Can you use your data? Uh, if need be. No, because my dongle is awkward. Your dongle. <laughs> your, your dongle is awkward. See, I wasn't gonna include this at all. Uh, in the edit, but now you said your dongle is awkward, and I have to force my hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh so now that we know jab's dongle is awkward i think, <laughs> I think we can start watching episode 16 of the flash season 8 uh do we all have mm -hmm. it open yes this is yeah. like viagra for me 
Yes, it fixes the dongle. I was about to make that joke to you. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. <laughs> uh, I hope there are many references to the dongle today. Oh, also, um, yeah, I, I, I'm sorry I misnamed you. Uh, t- today we don't actually have Madvocat here. We have a uh, good old Matvocat. Oh. Uh, the the Russian cousin me, yeah. from Madvocat. Yeah. Matvocat. <laughs> you do a Russian accent. <laughs> Oh uh, shit! I uh, know. I, I need to watch. I need to watch like a video of someone speaking so that I can actually do it. Otherwise, I'm gonna embarrass myself. Oh yeah, because we like, we would never embarrass right our embarrass ourselves during these reactions, right? Like singing "Running never. Home to You" is ne- not embarrassing at all. <laughs> Just think of, of the not. word "vodka" said by Russia, <laughs> and you got it. Think of the word "comrade." Uh. <laughs> the word what? Comrade. Comrade. You know, like... Oh. You know, like comrade. Um, like... Well, every time I think of a Russian accent, I think of the Russian from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., actually. Um, so do I. Yeah. Maybe because, you know, his nickname is The Russian. That seems kind of like... I hope know. there's a Russian in this episode. <laughs> yes, and I hope they're played by Goldface. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Should we give context on where the... The Russian Matt Fouquet comes from. Oh yes, of course. Um, um, yeah. Hopefully, our fellow friend, sent... our biggest fan. Um, <laughs> I guess he just goes by Barry Allen on YouTube now, but he was the the man in the yellow tie at some point. Um, he he spelled my name that way. I thought it was funny. It was very funny, and it sounded Russian. Yeah. But yeah, for the next, for this episode at least, we have the Russian brother here with us. So, yeah, this is for you, uh, good old Barry Allen, man in the yellow tie, um, specifically dedicated to you. Uh, we may have a different version uh, next week. We may have, yes. May also be based on something that uh, the man in the yellow tie said. Um, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, it sounds like a Legion villain. <laughs> <laughs> it does, yeah, the devil with yellow eyes and the man in the yellow tie. Um, anyway, do we all have the episode open? Oh, uh, yes. 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 Okay. Oh, the city. <laughs> Let's fucking go. He's running. He's running. And we haven't watched Flash in so long. We yeah, have. Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Did, he just, did he just turn him around? Yeah, yeah. why didn't you just <laughs> dump him yourself? So, just the banana? Why Barry, would- you could've stopped the criminal. Oh, yeah. Oh, Wait. Help. Why would a criminal you... even fucking try to rob Jitters with a gun? <laughs> That's so crazy! <laughs> Wait, but now there's no proof that that guy was just trying to rob <laughs> well, his witnesses, but you want to keep the gun on him yes. as evidence. You okay? Don't worry about that guy, I just drafted him off at CCPD. So, hang on, Barry's he just took that guy to the police, but not the robber. Yeah, he's fucking dumb. Jesus. Oh, I remember seeing this on Twitter. I just can't believe he took that guy in the car. Flash, we're getting hit hard, we're not gonna make it. Hold on, Chester, I'm on my way! They're playing D&D. Yep. I knew. Yo, this is it. This is it's gonna episode. happen! I mean, this this kind of showcases Medvedic's point for his, like, three videos, right? That Barry can just take care of all these criminals in, like, seconds and still play D&D. <laughs> <laughs> but Captain Cold and Heatwave are a big no-no. Yeah. Well, they're iconic, you see, so... Of course. And uh, they're, according to to Barry, there's context I'm leaving out for why he can't just remove the gun from his hand. So yeah, Barry's arrogant. His video. <laughs> oh yes. Help me, Karas the Orc. You're my last hope. Stranger Things did Dungeons and Dragons better. Community did Dungeons and Dragons better twice. What do you do, Karash? I tell the thing to raise its little claws and read it its Miranda rights. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Such a boomer. Let's take a break. Let's just let's take a break. We fill our goblets. <laughs> oh, they're gonna have like a quick, you know. Yeah. I get it. I get they're it. gonna have a twist. A instead, instead of Allegra and Chester, it's Barry and Jawberry. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Again. no, see, it's not actually incest. So it's fine. What are you doing, stepfather? It, I was a little intimidated too, but Iris 
made me give it a try, and we wound up having. I don't buy Iris is into Dungeons and Dragons. It, yeah, she doesn't really seem like she would be. And Nora says that Iris is still in the future, which means the path we're on now should lead us to her. The timeline is split you and Iris up before her, and it never holds, so I have faith in that just like you do. Yeah, when it's split up, it also didn't make any sense, Joe, so don't worry. I was gonna say, unless it is Reverse Flash, but it, it is Reverse Flash, so... <laughs> hey, um, I gotta go to CCPD. Grammar need you? No, not Kramer. Sing. You trying to make me feel like I ran back in time? Yo, I was right. Did, Did this show ever me? care about him? I don't remember him, yeah. like, barely at all. Like, he his face is he somewhat almost, familiar. He almost died in the mirror dimension. Oh. So I guess they did he make a big got, deal out of him in the last season. He also got struck by the Storm Man. One of the Mardens. Yeah, and he's... I think he's gay in the show. I, and that's Whoa, the most important that's part. too woke. SJW. Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Damn. I, I want Heels versus Babyface to review this now. Oh shit, this episode's directed Only... by Katie Lotz. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she does she's directed quite a few episodes of Arrowverse stuff. Really? Yeah. Let me get it up. I think she directed earlier this season. No, this is the first episode she directed of Flash, yeah. She directed three episodes of uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Tire prints from the crime scene have traces of residual calcium plates, most commonly found in barnacles, which grow directly onto a hard substrate like a boat or a dock. So the perp is probably hiding out somewhere near the shipyard. So Flash can put all of this together. Okay. He has the brain super speed capacity to put this all together, but he can't think about taking away a gun. No, you see, okay. he he's arrogant. Oh, he I mean, underestimated uh, yeah. Captain Cold. You wouldn't. To be fair, if you saw someone named Captain Cold, would you take them seriously? <laughs> <laughs> so is this gonna be like another villain of the week episode? Because this seems like in the mid supernatural mid season shit, where they're like, yeah, "Oh, we don't have we don't have any leads on the main threat. Let's look for a smaller threat," which I think is fine. It's just kind of cringe. Oh, you won't be running anywhere much longer. Do you want to run? You're the bad guy, aren't you? You wanna save us both some time and tell me what these mods do before I take you to prison or after? Barry, 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 you can take to prison. No, just interrogate him in prison. Why don't I show you? Oh, Barry, Barry. oh my- Inter Oh, ah. you fucking idiot. He stopped to talk, man, <laughs> Vicky, let's go. Why would, you, why would you ask him, do you want, do you want to tell me now or later? Just fucking <laughs> make him tell you in prison, now he- he was able to press the buttons on his watch. Right, it'd be so fucking die, Flash. Yeah, I was gonna say, it'd be so funny if Flash died over this and then Iris never got rescued. <laughs> like, this is what stops him. <laughs> Wait, what? He didn't kidnap Flash? Oh. I thought he would. He just left okay. him on the floor I at guess the him there. Well, I guess he just wanted to escape because Barry would have been able to phase through, like, any handcuffs or anything he had. So I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Multiple biological abnormalities detected. Holy Benjamin Button, Barry. Every cell in your body has deteriorated suddenly. It says here that you've aged 30 years overnight. Did you what? What? He looks exactly the same. It looks like the blast that hit Barry was mostly absorbed by his internal biology. That doesn't make sense. Was absorbed by his internal biology. What the fuck are you on, Chester? I'm pretty sure biology doesn't <laughs> have an inside or outside. It's just it's just biology. Your skin is an organ as well. What? Outer body is connected to your inner biology. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> You're lying. But you biologist. So it just aged his like. He aged on the inside. He's like the doctor now. Are you a biologist? Yeah. I fit the flash right as I, and you're not. So. A Gideon runner meta efficiency test. Test initiated. We'll start with phasing. I guess this is why the episode's called The uh, Curious Case of Bartholomew. Uh, is that what it's called? Yeah, because it is um, a play on Benjamin Button, which Chester even said, Holy Benjamin Button! So, yeah. Because he's so funny. <laughs> Try something easier. Wind arms. Wind arms are easier. <laughs> Barry, your hands were just shaking very fast, you would be able to do this. Yeah. Why don't you come sit down? I'm fine. I'm fine. I can, uh, 
I can feel the speed force inside me. I just need to stretch. You're literally 30 years older. Why are you why are you pretending everything's fine? They have objective proof that you're not. Hey, okay. I guess this show thinks if you're 60, you you do, you forget how to run in a straight line. It's weird because like Jay Garrick is about 60 plus. Yeah. By the looks of her. Oh, that might imply that we're gonna see Jay again. Just give him a pep talk. It'd be funny. I doubt it. <laughs> well, he showed up for like a <laughs> reason. He's like Barry. All you need is a pacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> No, we'll just well just do what you step. do best, just be the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> just run, Barry, run. He's in a wheelchair, just wheeling along. <laughs> but he can move his arms really fast, so he's wheeling like, at the speed that uh, Evelyn's dad does and everything everywhere all at once. Knowing this show, I wouldn't be surprised if they gave him like a super speed chair. And they're like, we channeled the speed force into this chair because they can do anything with science, apparently. Well, do you remember when they um, cured a spinal injury with Felicity and Arrow by giving her a yes. chip to her spine? And then she, she stood up in the middle of an <laughs> argument with um, Oliver. She walked away figuratively and literally. Yeah, it's so deep. By the way, I don't know what that scene was about because we weren't paying attention to the dialogue, but uh, it's Joe Barry, so he was probably being inconsistent, yeah. <laughs> we know that Allegra can handle herself out in the field, so when crazy scientist guy comes back, then she and Chester can handle it. Yeah, she can teleport, remember that. Well, actually, she can teleport. Yeah, guys, correction uh, from the last, from episode 14, Allegra can't actually teleport. They just have a device that can teleport that's never shown where they hide it and why she didn't have it in the episode she was trapped with Chester. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. She wasn't holding it at all. So it's not like she pushed a button or something. She was hiding it inside her ass, don't worry. Yeah, mm -hmm. it clenches and she teleports. <laughs> and you heard Chester, the only way to cure me is to get the gamma ray back, and the best way to do that is with my speed. Uh, Chester, get ready to adjust that gamma ray when I get back. I won't be long. Barry, stop running. Like, I know we're running, please. Please. <laughs> By velocity object incoming. I like if just <laughs> Why did you read it? What? Why did you read it out loud? How can it detect <laughs> Why did that you from stop? Like miles away? Why did you stop? Oh my god. He... Hey, that's no ordinary grenade. It's got major bad energy emanating from it. Major you just did the same energy. thing, you stupid fuck. <laughs> major bad energy. Ah, <laughs> uh, this I'm is classic ask you again. Flash Should I interrogate you now? We're at prison. <laughs> Cuff him. Cuff him. Cuff but... him. Oh, okay. okay, he has to take... Yeah. He was trying to fucking shock him with lightning? Well, performance issues, <laughs> not uncommon. Run out of the way, Barry. Him. Barry, you can run out of the way, Is right? Is this from his perspective? If so, he should probably dodge it. What's happening, dodge. Barry? Dodge it. Is he gonna explode on him? Oh, I guess Where'd it doesn't it go? explode, it just I like it. You wanna teleport? No, catch it. It just absorbed into his emblem. No, it, like, didn't it bounce okay. off him? I think it bounced no, off him. No, it, it literally disappeared. Huh, alright. <laughs> and and there was nothing on the ground or flying off of him. Why did your vision go bad? You didn't have this problem earlier. Because he's Excellent. 30 years older. We know why. Don't worry. Guys, we're 13 minutes into the episode and there's already been two scenes where he shows up, villain beats him, cuts away, and he's back at Star Labs. Yes. Fun times. I thought he was only supposed to be old on the inside. Not gonna lie, he looks good with the, the white hair there. Yeah. You aged another 10 years. Maybe cuff him next time, Barry, and then you gotta stop aging. Literally do anything but stop. <laughs> also, that's such a stupid watch that... How can he make it detect from, like, like miles away if there's a high-velocity object yeah. Man, coming by? Do you remember in the beginning of the season when you said people were DMing you saying that you know, the Flash Riders, they heard you. They, uh, season 8 was way better. They were actually, you know, making Barry competent. I think I've gotten, like, a couple of, uh, messages now where people have been telling me that, oh, season, it seems like they listened to, to your videos because season 8, he's actually competent. No, he's no. not. No, he's not. No, no. he's not. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember that. 
Riddler <laughs> editing it then and finding that really funny. Mm. Oh, so why aren't they calling Caitlyn, who would be obviously the most uh, knowledgeable on the subject? Because, um, like, Chester is engineering. Caitlyn is a doctor. This dude could make a good business by selling these watches to, like, all the criminals in the city so that they, they <laughs> yeah. know when the flash is coming by. I'm going to check his old lab at Taft, see if Dr. Olsen left any clues. Barry, it's Dr. Orloff. Remember? Oh, he's got dementia now. No, oh, no. Why did we just stop in the middle of the season to do um, a Benjamin Button episode? I don't... I don't understand. Look, this guy has surprised us a couple of times already, and my powers will feel him coming if he decides to show up while we're at his lab. Wait, what? Cecil, you shouldn't use your powers. That's unethical. Oh, uh, real quick. This time, we're gonna take my car. A Lego could teleport, guys. No, no, don't go with Cecil. I hate Cecil. <laughs> Oh yeah, also she can teleport. Yeah, she can teleport them anywhere they want. She can teleport at least. Can anyone there. teleport as long as they have the device? Yes, in theory. I'm so confused why Sing had to be introduced for this. So they're fixing a Roomba. Is 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 Joe Barry's side plot just fixing a Roomba? I think the point is <laughs> we to really show need... how. <laughs> Unless it's a Roomba from Mitchell's vs. Machines where they where they drive into battle. Or the, the Roomba game. I guess the point is to show, to have a scene where Joe's gonna talk to Barry and be like, you, you know, I'm old, but I can still, you know, do things, even though I'm retired. And Barry's gonna be like, damn, man, and then he's gonna fall down to his wheelchair and go away. And he's gonna have this like, amazing pep talk that goes, oh, fuck me hip, and then just falls on his face. <laughs> You, my friend, need to get out of this house badly. Man, let me just clean up this vacuum mess. Oh, no, Joe, I'm not asking. This is an order from the chief of police. Do it or you're fired. <laughs> do, do it, otherwise you get beat to death. <laughs> Trust me. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut that out. Nobody's gonna know you ever said that, Jeff. No, please keep that. Do you want to be please another rank, that. you know? Yeah, I do, actually. I think he looks like a right gym, bro. <laughs> Wait, what? They have laptops for each of the That's files? That's such a waste of resources. Face scanning oh. laptops. That's a countdown to wipe the hard drive. I need to run this Chester. Wait, no, Barry! You can't! I don't have a choice! We need to find out what's on this hard drive! <laughs> <laughs> Allegra can teleport. They have, you have teleport uh, abilities, the guys. Device? Oh my Christ, <laughs> this is this, the stakes of the episode. They're, they're just forgetting that they can teleport. So he, he, they're gonna force him to run. Where? And, and they're at the Great Wall of China. Oh. No. Barry, you would have noticed over a bit. Barry, you ran halfway <laughs> across he... the world. <laughs> he can fuck? react. He can react with super speed. How, How the fuck he did that? he not know he made it to China? How did we get <laughs> here? He just. What? Were this... your eyes closed? Oh. What? This show's <laughs> perception of old people is insane. <laughs> Connections in the hippocampus are showing gradual decay. And if, oh, if he can't he use speed react, he, he would have run into something immediately as soon as oh, he, he started running. Oh, he actually has dementia. Yeah, he, he actually has dementia. Him and Cecile would have become, like, a pool of blood and flesh. Like, fucking <laughs> no, the boys, you know? The speed force protects him. Like Wolfro, we know. Oh, yeah, 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 the speed force protects him, so... We just got a little hit on his head. Which is why he can fall off, like, several story buildings and survive. Mm. Yeah, it actually gives him dementia. I was joking. But... <laughs> you predicted he get dementia, for fuck's sake. Are you able to save his laptop? <laughs> I managed to stop the countdown, but it's going to take some more time for me to hack inside. Oh, so I guess he did manage to run back here uh, in less than 60 seconds, even okay. though he also ran to the Great Wall of China and didn't even know how he got there. Wait, wouldn't he have had to run on the ocean to make it to China? Yes. Did that's the thing. I don't know why they chose China. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they could have just chosen like he goes to Coast City or some shit, right? They just Exactly. Or just any part of the US. Yeah. Or Canada. <laughs> or even I South mean America. ideally what I would do is just have them arrive like a, a few blocks off uh Star Labs. But you know, the Great Wall of China is also an idea, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have had to forget the route around the sea. Yeah, he, he's like a full blocks off, and then he stops and is like, Oh shit, I, I took a wrong turn. Uh, Cecile, can you help me? 
But that's it. Retirement isn't the problem. It's you. I agree. Joe Barry is the problem. He's such a bad character. Oh, that's not what you mean. <laughs> <am I? laughs> you don't want to move forward. You've always been like this. Stuck in your ways. You homophobe. <laughs> Like <laughs> just starts berating him. You voted against gay marriage. <laughs> Do you know why it took us so long to close the Steve Palmer case? It was because you refused to learn the new CCPD computer system. It's all about Joe refusing to get on with technology. <laughs> oh, oh. Fucking boomer. Yeah, this is dumb. I don't, I don't care. And you raise that boy to be one of the most extraordinary humans to ever walk the earth. Uh, it's debatable. Very debatable, my guy. You raised the Flash. And you should indeed say that in a public setting, yes. And he didn't get his greatest superpowers from a bolt of lightning. He got them from a man who embraced an unexpected time in his life. But more so from the bolt of lightning. <laughs> <laughs> You constantly go, I'm the Flash, after a bit of love from a stepdad. He got them from you. Joe West. The, if, if the theory of um, Barry becoming the lightning, the lightning that hit him uh, is true, then this, this speech would be so hollow, because it would be, no, actually Barry gave himself powers by traveling back in time. <laughs> so, yeah, Joe, you're kind of useless in that sense. I should make Joe the lightning bolt. Is he okay? Should Joe the lightning bolt? <laughs> oh man, look at the dementia guy getting lost. <laughs> Why are uh, people leaving him alone? He's gonna fall over and hurt himself. Oh, he's got Parkinson's as well. Poor Grant Gustin, he deserves so much better than this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cecile pep talk, I love Cecile, she's the best character. I've been looking for you, I thought you were going to the Star Archives. What's the Star Archives? Forgot where it was. Remember, none of this would have happened if he used his brain and learned his lesson in season one. Remember, we're in season eight, and he's still fucking asking villains if he wants them to be interrogated there or in prison. Oh, but you see, from his perspective, Madrick, there's nowhere to run, so. <laughs> What's going on with you? You're not normally this stubborn. What? No, he is. What are you trying to prove, honey? You know you're scaring all of us. I love how the show's like, man, you're acting out of character. Um, and the show's like, well, yeah. I feel myself withering. I'll put poor old people when they watch this. I yeah. swear to God. It's getting harder to remember the people I love. This doesn't make sense, though. He knows that's, that literally... that getting the guy is how he would um is how they would reverse this process. So why is he being so stubborn that he has to be the one to do this? All he wants is to reverse. Like everything he's saying right now can be undone by reversing the aging process, which can be done by being like Allegra, use the teleportation device, uh, grab the guy, and then we we make him undo this. Even Iris, what if I forget who she is? Before she comes back, I thought I had plenty of time to get Iris back. Barry, you're not gonna die yet. It's okay. Yeah, sure. Imagine if they, they tried to do this whole dementia Barry. coverage, and it's just uh... <laughs> because of um, Caitlin, because she she got the genome sequencer and shit for Frost, and they're like, oh my god, Caitlin, we, Barry needs a new body, and then they clone Barry, and we get a new Barry, but with the same consciousness. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Fucking Rick and Morty shit. Barry. <laughs> you know, you're not the first superhero that I've seen go through this. Oh, I knew one badass fighter through and through. It's gonna be Joe. My grandmother. Oh, it's not. Never mind. Yeah, well, I'm afraid. She's dead, but not a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> she was always running from one adventure to the next. Not just when she was young and spry either. Oh, no, no. I mean, I'm talking well into her golden years. She would have a whole cheese every day. <laughs> <laughs> or go the years. Heavy go cheese. But you know, uh, this is actually like pretty good acting from Cecile's actor. Um, I don't really usually like her, but you know, good for her. Mm -hmm. Problem is, this is not the discussion that should be had. It should be you're a fucking idiot for eight seasons later, and you're still talking to <laughs> villains when you show up instead of immediately handcuffing them. The discussion should be had is for it to be like, Barry, everything you said or those worries can be undone if we undo 
the aging process. So why don't you just let Allegra do her job and the bear is going to have no answer. Especially because he, he has dementia, so he wouldn't even be able to come up with no an answer. So. She knew. She knew that no one could outrun time. Except Barry created the still force, which is literally all of time at once, but yeah. Barry, nobody's saying that you can't go get the bad guy, but don't let your fear of running out of time cloud your ability to see the right way to do it. Just chloroform him. <laughs> and they that <laughs> way he's knocked out and they can take care of it themselves. I finally broke the encryption code on Orloff's laptop. Oh, okay, so it was an evidence locker that had Orloff's laptop. It wasn't a laptop for each code. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh. Uh, it's an energy amplifier that could boost his machine's output a hundredfold. So he wants to make everyone old? <laughs> When everyone's so old, no one will be. He was, inspired by, he was inspired by the filmmaker M. Night Shyamalan by his masterpiece, Old. He wants everyone to be mid-side sedan. A few feet away. Oh my god, it's a... Oh god. What? That's mid-side... No! He, he's on a car, oh my, my girl. He's a man. Oh my god, it's Travis Scott. <laughs> He's there. I'm such a big man. I just man. love that his rap name is Mid-Sized Sedan. Yeah, it's... <laughs> and when everyone's Mid-Sized Sedan... No one will no be. No one will be. of youth. He just wants to be young again. So he's stealing other people's... Other people's... Life energy. This is such a cliche plot. It's so stupid. The structure remember what it reminded me of. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for Magicka, but uh, it's a Chinese character from something in season two of something. Mm. Wenwu. It is Wenwu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jab, do you know who I'm talking about? You should. I was a paying attention. Can you like say it again? This uh, this guy is trying to steal people's uh, life forces to keep himself <laughs> immortal, right? Oh, I know who you're on about. Yeah. I mean, look at these readings. If we shut it down too suddenly, there'd be a cascading degradation cycle in the gamma isotopes. Meaning we can't just turn it off. It's already built up too much of a charge. Yeah, that's what he already said. Yeah, shutting thank you for shutting it off now. Would cause the gamma rays to explode out, affecting hundreds of people. <laughs> Did he just repeat every- Okay, thanks, Barry. Barry really does have dementia. You know Chester's right, and then it repeats everything Chester says. You know what the problem is? The problem is they say it in a super intelligent way, or try to, so then they assume the audience won't understand, so they just repeat the uh, name of terms. Yeah, it, this is worse than the trope of um, people being like, oh, English, please, because this uh, this is like treating the audience as fucking retarded of not understanding that the two <laughs> things explained are the same. No. Barry, you remember what Chester said. If you use your speed again, it could kill you this time. I have to try. Allegra, do it, can't teleport. Do it, do uh, it, do it, do I hope you die, do Barry. Do it. You're right, Cecile, I can't outrun time, but I can embrace it. And I can choose to spend every moment I have left trying to save innocent lives. Or you can let Allegra do the job. Then run, Barry. Run. No, Cecile. No, Cecile. Teleport. Oh, run, Barry, run. run. Woo, Cecile said it. She said it. Oh my god. Watch, he's, gonna, he's gonna, no. No, he's gonna fucking stop again. Don't do it. He's gonna stop. <laughs> he's gonna stop, watch. Handcuff him, please. He did it. Oh, no. Let's go. <laughs> There's Yo. nowhere to run. You're out of time, Flash, and slower than ever. What is? Yeah, what is his plan? I don't know. The gamma radiation siphons energy from human cells, speeding up the biological aging process. But if we fed it more energy than it can handle, the amplifier would have to kick into overdrive. What do we got that can put out that much energy? Me. He's been slower than this. He's literally lost speed many times. It looks like everyone in Central City is running out of time, except me. Maybe while this what? fuck is distracted, Did you just let him Allegra... Yes, yes. Maybe Allegra should have teleported behind him um, what? while he's distracted. Barry, you shouldn't be able to do this. How does he know this would work? What? How does this work? How is he containing the game of radiation from coming out? <laughs> Is it like is it like his boots? I don't understand. What's Bear doing? He just messed the gamma machine's energy output. Oh, that makes no sense. But how is he? Wait, how can he run this fucking fast? He shouldn't be able to. <laughs> he literally struggled to get him. He there. can run this fucking fast, but he couldn't take the fucking remote out of his hand. Oh no 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 no! 
He's having a heart attack. The way oh, to do this would be to say that he oh, would be to have him run around and then uh, the radiation starts following him because of his boots, because they established that his boots can his boots can do the um <laughs> oh, Jesus shit. Christ, that looked bad. Oh, but his oh, boot, his boots can absorb energy or redirect energy as we've seen. <laughs> oh my god. Fun times. Well, well, yeah, sure. He could have just taken the fucking remote out of his hand. Imagine if he cuffed him in the beginning of the episode. Yes. <laughs> that dude, he had three opportunities to cuff him. <sighs> wait, 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 what's, what's wrong? I can't believe what I'm seeing. Very. Hey, what happened? My readings are saying that you're better than ever. Well, I guess it's like um, Barry Allen said, the episodes will only last five minutes. You you just want, you know, if you made the show mad, because it would just be not entertaining at all. So this is yeah, very be entertaining. Teeth, according oh, to it was the unreal. most uncreated mind on the planet. My years, my time, it's all gone. What do I do now? Embrace the time you have left in prison. Okay. Retirement home. So they just or undid prison it. Works. All right. Well, that's fine. Who cares? Cool. It only took took thirty fucking minutes. Jesus Christ. Well, thirty minutes for us. How Longer long? in in their time. Yeah, because Barry long? passed out twice. <laughs> How long was it the writers were just trying to come up with something to waste time? I mean, this entire episode is just like okay. I imagine when they were breaking the season, they were like, "We need to fill twenty episodes." Uh, episode eighteen is an episode where we don't Wait, so care. He... So they just gave him to us. To like a fucking assistant writer. But not only did old man Barry become young again, you completely regenerated and then. So sorry to break it to you, kid. You're not in your 30s anymore. How old am I? 29. Wait, he got younger? Yeah, they said he's 29 now. Oh. What? They said like he gained, he like gained some more years, like, and he got younger. I just, uh huh. <laughs> Okay, what? <laughs> what? Sure. So that means he stole some years from Orloff? I don't yeah, I don't okay. think it was intentional. It was just a side effect. Well, yeah, but that doesn't yeah. make sense. Because the radiation would have just does? hit... <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. I'm not even going to finish my thought. That's a good point, Mavic. <laughs> hey, Cecile. I owe the most to you. Oh, yeah, you owe Cecile for saying some random story about her grandma instead of actually talking sense into you. I'm sorry, I... Didn't listen sooner. It's amazing how fucking stupid everyone is. You have to realize that every time Barry isn't using his brain and allows something bad to happen and goes back to Star Labs and no one like calls him out on it, it makes all of them look stupid as well. So what's your code name? Uh, uh you know, Barry used to be the streak. No way. Then he became the Flash. What do people call you? So she she's called Flashlight. So she's useless. Flashlight is a, <laughs> an interesting name. <laughs> Chester's flashlight specifically. Okay, Joe, I'm thinking we tweak the quest. We can set it in CCPD. Maybe we solve a homicide. We could do that. Or... Oh, he's gonna go out in like a cool outfit for Duchess of Dragons. Yeah. Oh, it's a... Look at that swag. <laughs> Please, Joe everyone Barry needs to leave right. besides Chester and Allegra by the end of the episode. Yeah, we, we need them. So they Why don't you go to sleep and then we just leave the two place? <laughs> I want them to fuck on the dinner table. <laughs> Honestly, Joe's suit is a bit um, underwhelming. I expected something like um, Community with Chang. He's, he's just wearing a dressing gown and a hat. The cane is a nice touch, but, but that's not a cane, I guess. It's a scepter. You know. Carly, hey, what's up? Here we go. Here's the setup for the next episode, the cliffhanger. The actual important part. No, I thought Caitlyn was with you. Why? He's got to stop what Caitlyn's doing. It'd be so fun if he just got in the lab and destroyed everything with the research. It's he's like... got... He's got it, <laughs> You know he is. Oh, he's, he's got... Barry, remember that no, he, he can be invisible. He didn't, he didn't bother putting on his suit or turn invisible. Well, yeah, why didn't you turn invisible when phasing in? Barry? Well, this is where this episode should have started. Yeah. Your mom called trying to find you. You said you were staying with her, but she says she hasn't seen you since the funeral. That you haven't returned her calls. I changed my mind. Oh, he's got to destroy it. What's it? What is going on? Destroy it! Destroy it! Destroy it! Can't outrun death, Caitlin. Oh, is that what this is gonna be? I've been working on some stuff. What is it? You can speed read all of her research, bro. You know what's funny? He's gonna be like, "Do you remember Deathstorm?" Imagine if she knocks him out. 
Okay. What's this doing here? Okay, I know how this looks. Caitlin, what's this doing here? Speed, speed read the research. The mirror gun split Frost and me into two people once before. It took her from my subconscious and gave her a body. And there must still be a piece of Frost inside of me. So if I can access, then I can bring her back. Why would you think there is still some Shut other the fuck inside up. of you? That makes no sense. Barry, Barry's just gonna destroy all this. He's like, no. I, <laughs> I wish. Just take the mirror gun. No, he wouldn't destroy it. Take the mirror gun. Go, go, all, go all Ezra Miller on the research. I, I know what you're thinking, and, and frankly, if I was in your shoes, I'd probably be thinking the same thing. But just for one second, imagine this isn't Frost that we're talking about. Imagine this is Iris. What if we could bring your mom back? Oh. Oh, yeah, now he's going to destroy all. Oh, yeah, that oh. Laugh. that's kind kind of. Oh. <sighs> so the entire point of the episode was to have that conversation between Barry and Cecile. So that he could be like, you know what? You can move on from that. Losing someone you love can make it really hard to move on. But as difficult as it is, you have to accept that Frost is gone. Yes. Mark thank is gonna you. come in and knock Barry out. I'm fairly sure. Nah, nah, he's gonna destroy it. Thank God. I thought he was gonna have to get over his parents for like the fifth time in this whole show again. <laughs> just take take the mirror gun. Just take her to Star Labs. I can do this. I have to. I'm sorry. No, you're not gonna leave her. You're not gonna leave her. No, he's gonna stop her. Yes, I'm right. Leave. Yes. I'm sorry. Leave. Wait. Where's the? What? What are you doing? Oh. Barry. No. This seems a bit excessive. Wait, where, where'd the what Where'd the, the mirror gun go? Why didn't he just take it? I don't fucking know. All he needed to do was take the mirror oh. gun with him to Star Labs. Couldn't this have fucking killed Barry. Caitlin? I don't know. I, I guess, guess he can he... control specifically where the lightning goes. Bro, it's on fire. You set her apartment on fire. Why did you do all <laughs> this? You could have literally just taken the gun. You know, these items are still valuable. The you one thing you didn't destroy was the, the gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love all you had to do was take the gun. You literally could... just destroy everything and leave it. You literally could run with the gun to Star Labs. It, it would have avoided all this. You could have just taken this. the all the equipment back. Anyway, um, Caitlyn's still what a like fucking asshole. The best character this <laughs> season, I th I feel. I'm sure there was some expensive stuff in this room. I mean, yeah, well... she stole shit from her mom, <laughs> uh, as well as Star Labs. So yeah. Yeah, just return it. Oh my god. Well, yay! That was episode 16. That was great. Yeah, I never see Barry just do something like that. That was so stupid. How do, you, how do you reckon Twitter Barry Allen's gonna defend this? So I said he he could just take all the materials back to his mom or Star Labs or whatever. What do you think he'd say? He'd probably say like, well, then Caitlyn can just steal it back. And it's like, no, if he tells her mom what she did, she's gonna crack down on security on her items, surely. But yeah, so she, she wouldn't let her... She would, if he tells uh, her mom, the mom is going to be like, it, when Caitlyn shows up at her door, be like, you know, Caitlyn, you can't just take anything from here. She's not going to let her leave with, you know, that kind of equipment. Yeah. And he, he, she... he doesn't even know that, she, that Caitlyn is working with Mark on this, who is like a thief. So as far as he knows, she wouldn't be able to steal it back anyway. Well, yeah, I'm, I, I'm sure they would just crack down on security if her mom, like, let other people know. What is it? She owns a, a lab, a science company? Yeah, a company, a research. Man. Yeah, so just let everyone know that some things are at, currently at risk of being stolen. Yeah, and it's it's like, you already talked to Caitlyn. If you take a... It doesn't matter anyway, because the mirror gun is the thing that matters the most. If he takes that away, then she can't do yeah. it anyway. So it doesn't. If you matter. have to destroy something, destroy the one thing that's the only way to make this possible. Yeah, and even then, I wouldn't destroy the mirror gun. Just grab it and take it to Star Labs and yeah, talk. Just take it back. Yeah, and talk to the rest of the team and be like, uh, "Kaylin tried to use this to revive Frost. Uh, it's not a good idea. This is why. Um, brought it back because <laughs> I don't want to destroy this equipment. But let's not. Well, you know, I would hope. Get a, I would hope he wouldn't have to explain why it's a bad idea. I mean, I, 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 more so, I mean, uh, in explaining, because like just bringing Frost back in general, if it, there is a possibility, it wouldn't be like a bad idea. The way she's doing it by wanting to create a new Frost from her own consciousness, which she's believing something that isn't true at all, uh, is more so the bad idea part, as far as I'm concerned. Because if like, if they had found a way to cure death, I, that wouldn't be bad. If you get, if you get what I mean. At any rate. Episode 16, that was great. Um, Barry, as smart as ever, and we spent time on stuff that doesn't matter for an entire episode. But 
I'm I'm sure the good stuff is gonna is gonna come out now for the last four episodes. So yeah. Reverse flash, I'm telling you. I mean, we know he's back, <laughs> yeah. Jeff, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's the only one there. <laughs> the well, yeah. I guess that's what we have for today, folks. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Painful writing. It hurts.